What's up? Today we are going over some of the best books and resources for ophthalmology for all levels. Let's get into it. Alright, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. I'm a second year ophthalmology resident, and today I'm gonna go over some of the best books and resources that I've found for kind of different levels from beginner to intermediate to some of the more in-depth subspecialty textbooks. And I'm going to also go over some of the best, in my opinion, like quick reference texts for ophthalmology. You can use them if you're a family medicine doctor, an ER physician, or a new ophthalmology resident, or if you're a medical student starting out on ophthalmology rotation. I'll give you some of my thoughts on the best books for all that stuff. And at the end, I'll also tell you a few of the websites that I think are probably best for actually learning about ophthalmology. So some stuff online that you can find too. So the way that I've split this video up today is into kind of a few different categories. We'll start with the kind of very beginner intro level books and resources for ophthalmology. These are a few that I think are kind of just the best if you have almost no knowledge of ophthalmology. These are probably best for maybe the medical student about to go on an ophthalmology rotation or a new beginning resident even like prior to getting to residency or if you're an emergency room physician or family medicine physician and you really don't have a lot of training or background in ophthalmology, a couple of these very beginning texts will probably be your best place to start. And I'll keep it limited to just a few in each category because if I start giving you too many resources, too many books, it just becomes overwhelming and you never use any of them. So I've really just kind of pared it down to what I think are the best ones. Of course, all this is just my opinion. Um, so I'm sure there's a lot of other great books out there. If you have other good resources, leave them down in the comments, help other people out. Um, I'm sure I haven't even come across all of them, but these are a few of the common ones that I think are the best. So the first one in our basic beginner category is Optho Books. Um, these are written by Tim Root. It's a series of books split up kind of by like glaucoma, retina, uveitis, that kind of thing. He splits them up and it's very basic, very intro level, and it's very well explained in a very simple way. It's easy to understand even if you have no ophthalmology training. It's all free online, so just Google Optho Books, Tim Root, and you can kind of start reading. They're pretty short and they're really good overview, and that's probably the best place to just start from scratch. Um, is just with opto books. I think they're really great. And he also had a YouTube channel. I don't think he really posts on it anymore, but he has a lot of great videos too, uh, teaching a lot of basic ophthalmology and uh, optometry principles. So the second book in our kind of basic um, beginner level group, and this is gonna be a little bit more advanced than the uh, than the opto books, but this is gonna be better if, you're, if you are wanting like a little more information, a little, just a little higher level than the uh, than the opto books. Um, this is gonna be a little bit more detailed, a little better if you're a beginning resident or if you're a medical student wanting to go into ophthalmology. I would go with Practical Ophthalmology. It's this book here. Um, I read this book before actually starting ophthalmology and like the months leading up to it. And it's a good just kind of introduction to ophthalmology. And it's a little more in depth than opto books. It's a little more on the level of like a ophthalmology, like a starting ophthalmology resident, whereas opto books is even a little more basic and could apply to like family medicine and ER too. But go for practical ophthalmology. If you just want to like get a decent base before starting ophthalmology and you just are going to go for one book, I'd probably grab this one first. Of course, you can always go through the huge encyclopedia of BCSC. I don't think it's going to make a lot of sense to you if you have zero point of reference, zero training in ophthalmology. So I probably wouldn't necessarily start with the BCSC, which is, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like the ophthalmology like encyclopedia. It's about stacked about this tall. I'll show you in a minute, but it's kind of what all the boards are based off of. And you can kind of get more into that in residency if you want, but this is probably the place to start a little bit easier. That's our second book in kind of the beginner entry level resources for ophthalmology. A couple more honorable mentions. I'm not going to actually include these on the recommendations because I told you I wanted to keep it very concise and not give you way too many like resources because that can be overwhelming. And so rapid ophthalmology, this book here is very small. Um, it's very quick to the point. It's just broken up by uh, things like if you turn to it like retinopathy of prematurity and then it gives you etiology, risk factors, examination, pathogens. It's all just very small, uh, like tiny little paragraphs about each. So it's a very quick resource, um, like the name says, rapid ophthalmology. So that's one of our honorable mentions in the 
beginner category. And then one more is just this basic ophthalmology, which is kind of similar to uh, practical ophthalmology, the other one, but I'm just gonna include this as an honorable mention because I do like the practical ophthalmology better uh, for a beginning resource. All right, before we get into more of like the intermediate level text, the ones that I would more recommend if you are in residency, ophthalmology residency, before I get to those, I'm gonna give you my two favorite kind of reference texts. And these might be actually your most helpful resources. These are gonna be best when you're on call and you need like a quick answer. Um, you just need a quick reference text that's really good. These will probably be your best go-tos. And these are also really great for family medicine, ER medicine. I recommend all ER doctors have one of these somewhere around just so you can address basic eye uh, issues and really they'll cover most of the things you'll see in the emergency. Um, but these are great for starting residents too and also for medical students. I'll start with the Will's Eye Manual. This is kind of just like the the holy grail bible for a first year resident. Um, they all have them. This is your reference text. It's broken up really nicely by kind of category, retina, glaucoma, uveitis, neuro-op. Has quick, concise things like it'll tell you the symptoms people present with, and the signs that they'll present with. It'll tell you the workup to do, and it'll tell you the treatment. And it's all just little numbered points, like kind of like bullet points. So it's super simple, super quick. And the great thing about the Will's Eye Manual is you can get it on your phone in an app. The app I would recommend is the Bookshelf app because it allows you to search within the book and by category. It's not like the PDF that you have to scroll through. It actually allows you to search. So I would say get this, the Will's Eye Manual, and then just get the code on the inside and get it on the bookshelf app. So it's on your phone. So you're on call, you're in the ER, you're family medicine, you can just pull up the app, search anything. It's the best reference text for kind of quick treatment uh, decisions that there is. So Will's Eye Manual, and that is probably the best resource in this video. The second book in our kind of reference text that is very similar to the Will's Eye Manual, but maybe not as many people know about is gonna be this one, which is the Mass Eye and Ear Illustrated Manual of Ophthalmology. And this one is a little bigger, a little uh, beefier, but it's got a lot of great pictures. It's better kind of for picture reference than Will's. Um, and so this is one that I like to go to sometimes. It's also very concise. It's not a lot of detailed like prose, text, that kind of thing. It's just short bullet points, um, but it's got a lot more pictures. Uh, than Will's Eye Manual. And you can also get this one on your phone. I recommend having both on your phone. I have both on my phone. I have this one in the Inkling app. Um, so I put Will's in the Bookshelf app and then I put uh, Mass Eye and Ear Illustrated Manual for Ophthalmology in the Inkling app. So when I'm in the ER seeing people and I'm maybe not sure exactly all the workup that needs to be done for something, I just quickly reference those texts and they're really great. So we've talked about the very basic kind of entry level ophthalmology book. I've given you two of what I think are the best quick reference texts for ophthalmology, the Will's Eye Manual and the Mass Eye and Ear Illustrated Ophthalmology Manual. So now what I'm gonna move into is kind of like the intermediate level text, maybe just a little bit more advanced than the beginner level. And I'm just gonna give you two in this category as well, because again, I don't wanna overwhelm you and give you way too many choices here. I'm just giving you what I think are probably uh, a couple of the best that I've come up. So the first in this kind of intermediate level category where I would maybe recommend like a first year resident reading or second year resident um, and a good reference text is gonna be, of course it would be on the very bottom of this stack, but, uh, and that's gonna be Kansky Ophthalmology. So Kansky's Clinical Ophthalmology. Um, and this is a dense, pretty thick book, but it goes into more detail on individual diseases. Um, so if you're actually gonna use something to study, you know, as a first year resident, second year resident, it's a good reference in addition to the BCSC. Kansky's Ophthalmology is very good and I like it a lot. Uh, I do think it is a European text, so maybe a couple things differ if you're in the US, but overall it's very similar. It has a lot of good pictures. It's broken up by disease. Okay, so that's the first book in our kind of intermediate category. And so our second book in the intermediate category is gonna be Duker Ophthalmology. I don't have a hard text of that one, so I have to use our university's online access through our library. And that's gonna be kind of basically a more expanded version of Kansky's. It's similar to Kansky's, I think, but it just goes more in depth and it's just a better text, in my opinion. Um, it's a larger text, it has more in it. It's uh, just a little more detailed and a little better than Kansky. This is one that I would also wanna keep even you know, going out into private practice, I would wanna have this kind of on hand, sort of like a physician's desk reference. This would be like my physician's desk reference that I would just reference for kind of general ophthalmology things out in private practice would be Duker Ophthalmology. I think it's a great text. So that's our kind of intermediate group. Um, and I just gave you two books there, Kansky's Ophthalmology and Duker Ophthalmology. And I'll have links to all these down below if you wanna check them out. All right, and I have to mention also the BCSC series, which is kind of like, 
the Encyclopedia Bible set for ophthalmology. This is what all the boards are based off of. And it is essentially an encyclopedia. It's just kind of split up based on like fundamentals. And then you have lens and cataract. We have neuro ophthalmology. Um, they're good texts. They are good. Um, I would put this in your intermediate category, kind of with the Kansky and the Duker uh, level books. These are basically just kind of your bread and butter things that you have to read and kind of do during residency. This isn't where I would like go to as like a quick reference text. You can, um, but it's not where I generally do. And it's also not where I would start if you're like family medicine or uh, ER, because this is just a little above what you need, I think, for those situations. But of course I have to mention the BCSC, um, but it's just kind of a given. So everybody knows these books, I think. Just giving you some other ideas on some other texts that I think are helpful. So I gave you two in the beginner category. I gave you two of the best reference texts in my opinion. And then I gave you two in kind of the intermediate level, um, kind of just broad clinical general ophthalmology. And now what I want to talk about is actually what are some of the best texts, in my opinion, that I've come across. And I haven't seen them all, and I haven't been doing this as long as I'm sure some of you guys have. So let me know down in the comments if you have better texts for your subspecialty. But for our kind of advanced uh, category, I'm going to tell you some of the, the texts that I think are best for kind of each subspecialty, at least that I've come across. Um, I am sure there are a lot of great ones out there, so let me know down in the comments um, because I would also like to know if you have other ideas. So for the advanced category, we're looking more at kind of like focusing in specifically on the subspecialties like retina specific text, plastic specific text, uh, neuro ophthalmology specific text, that kind of thing. So in our advanced category, I'll start off in retina, and this is one of the best kind of volumes that I've found. It's very detailed, um, way too detailed for, you know, just quick reference kind of stuff. But if you like really want to get into like spe very specific uh, details about diseases, uh, Ryan's retina is probably the best text that I've found. Um, it's a three volume set. Uh, the other two are in this stack, but it's three books this size. Um, it's very expensive, so I would try to get that one through your university's uh, library if they have it. Um, but that's probably going to be one of your best uh, reference texts. If you're in retina, if you're a retina fellow, or if you're thinking about going into retina, or you just like really want to understand uh, retinal disease. So next in our advanced category is plastics. Um, so the book I'm going to talk about for plastics, uh, more of kind of like a surgical technique book. And that book is Techniques in Ophthalmic Plastic Surgery by Jeffrey Neurad. That was a book that one of the fellows um, lent to me and that I think is really good, especially uh, if you want to know about like specifically if you want to know how to do like certain oculoplastics procedures. But it's a very in-depth book, very good book. That's one of my favorites for plastics. I don't know all of them. Um, so if you're an oculoplastics fellow, leave a comment down below and let me know one of your favorite oculoplastics texts. But that's one that I like. Moving into the cornea section for the advanced category um, is just the book called Cornea. And that's by Mark Manis and Edward Holland. Um, I think the fourth edition is the latest one, but it's a very large text. I don't have a hard copy. Um, we have it through our university's website, but it's about that thick and it is a uh, very dense text on uh, cornea and it goes into all the different aspects of corneal diseases. And that's probably one of the best detailed references uh, that I've come across for really understanding like in depth corneal disease. Um, Uveitis, I don't know a really great book. The one that I have is one that was given to us. And I think it's a good book. It's pretty detailed. It's this book here. It's just titled Uveitis. It's by uh, Robert Nussenblatt and Scott Scott Whitcup. Uh, but it's a good book. It's just all about uveitis, fundamentals and clinical practice. Um, pretty detailed book, but this is a good one for uveitis. Um, again, I don't really know a lot of the options on the uveitis category, so there may be some better ones for uveitis. And kind of the same for glaucoma. I really don't personally know um, the best text for uh, kind of in-depth advanced text for glaucoma. So again, let me know if you do know those down below. Finally, neuro-ophthalmology, everybody's favorite. Uh, one of the texts that I like is Neuro-Ophthalmology Illustrated. Uh, that's by, I think you say it, Bios and Newman, and I'll link it down below. But it's an illustrated text. It's just kind of like very straightforward and it makes it easy to understand. Understand. There's a lot of illustrations in it. So that's a good one for neuro ophthalmology. Uh, neuro op fellows out there, let me know down below which ones you guys like for neuro ophthalmology. And then that way everybody can read the comments and kind of see uh, what everybody's using um, for kind of the more advanced text. 
So we did a beginner category, we did the reference category, we talked about some intermediate level books, and then we talked about some of the more subspecialty specific advanced text for ophthalmology. Um, what I'm gonna go into briefly here is a good text for kind of your basic ophthalmic surgery skills. So if this is one that I would reference like uh, a day or two before having to do a surgery. So when I was a first year, doing like pterygia surgeries, you know, there's so many ways online that people do it that it kind of just becomes confusing if you have so many different ways to do it. Um, but this book is good at kind of telling you like the steps of basic um, ophthalmology surgeries and it's divided by subspecialty like retina, glaucoma, that kind of thing. But basic techniques of ophthalmic surgery. It's a, not a small text, but it, the sections are not long at all. Um, and it explains the steps pretty well. And there's some um, black and white photos that are good photos and kind of help you understand the surgery. So this is a good place if you want a text for kind of basic ophthalmologic surgery. Um, so that's probably where I would start for that. Finally, I'm gonna give you a few of the online resources that I like to use uh, for kind of learning about uh, different parts of ophthalmology. And the first one is just gonna be iWiki. It's basically the ophthalmology version of Wikipedia and I do believe it is run by the AAO. It's, it's kind of divided up by disease and you can just read it like a Wikipedia page basically, but it's all about ophthalmology related uh, topics and diseases. So if you're gonna read something online, that's a great place to get a pretty good, uh, pretty good idea and understanding for specific disease and that kind of thing. So iWiki is number one. And then the second one is video. So I would say YouTube, there's a lot of great kind of uh, surgery videos on YouTube. If you're looking for cataracts, check out Dr. Devgan, Uday Devgan's channel with Cataract Coach. Uh, he goes into everything about cataract surgery. So that's where I pick up a lot of stuff and tips for cataract surgery. And then you can also check out iTube, which is basically the ophthalmology version of YouTube, um, where it's all just ophthalmology surgery videos, but it's called iTube. So check it out. Um, so those are probably the best online resources I found. iWiki, um, YouTube, and then iTube. So iWiki for kind of learning about diseases, and then YouTube and iTube for actually watching videos on surgeries so that you can kind of have an idea of how to do them and kind of learn different techniques from different people. Guys, that is my thoughts on some of the best texts, some of the best references uh, for ophthalmology, for beginner, intermediate, advanced level, and then for some quick reference texts, and then also for some online resources. And as a bonus, here is kind of a small little book on refraction, if you're into that kind of thing. Just kidding. Um, but that's a good text for refraction. I'll link that down below if you're trying to learn how to refract as a new ophthalmology resident or a new optometry student, whatever. It has some good tips in it. Um, but yeah, guys, those are my thoughts on some of the best texts for ophthalmology. Let me know what you think down in the comments below if you think these texts are total crap or if you've used some of them and what you think. Um, but also just tell me down below which ones you guys are using so that I can check them out um, because I'm sure I haven't come across all of the best ones, but these are just some good ones that I have come across. Anyways, I hope you guys found some value in this video. If you are about to start an ophthalmology rotation or you're about to start your residency, which is gonna be coming up in a few months from uh, the release date of this video, check out some of these texts and I think that you will find some value in them. Um, again, just start with the basics and then move your way up. Zach and Bubbles with Dr. Eyeball MD and I'll see you guys in the next one.